Hey, it's Tammy and I do Math for Coffee and today I'm helping you get ready for your first algebra exam. We're going to cover one step, two step, and multi-step equations. Let's go. 90 equals negative 10x. Well, one thing I want to point out here is this negative 10x means negative 10 times x. It's not negative 10 plus x or negative 10 minus x. If you were going to add or subtract, there would be a plus or minus sign in between here. But right now it's multiplication and we undo multiplication by dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 10. That negative 10 will then cancel on the side that has the x. And on the other side, 90 divided by negative 10 is negative 9. So x equals negative 9. This is also a one-step equation because it, we're going to solve it using only one step. It's not necessary that you know that ahead of time, but it's, it, it's nice to know that you're not going to have to do a ton of work. The x here is being added to a 4, 4 plus x. This is not multiplication, this is addition, and that 4 is a positive 4. So to start moving that, I need to subtract it from both sides. I'm drawing a line down the middle where the equal sign is, so you can see what I mean by both sides. Subtract 4 from this side, and subtract 4 from that side. When you do this correctly, you should have a negative, a minus 4 on both sides of that line, not two minus 4s on the same side. A positive 4 minus 4 going to cancel out. The negative 1 minus 4 makes a negative 5, and then we have the x is the only thing left on the other side, so that's our answer. x equals negative 5. Okay, for this one, this is going to be a two-step equation, and again, you don't need to know that, but you do have to take a couple extra steps. You start by adding and subtracting something always. You want to add or subtract something to get that x term all by itself. If for this one, you see that that x term has a plus 8 next to it, so that plus 8 has got to go. I'll start by drawing my little fence, and then we're going to subtract 8 on both sides. Now notice I didn't put a negative 8 under the 10x. I'm going to subtract the 8 away from the number on one side, and I'm going to subtract that 8 away from the number on the other side. That 8's going to cancel because that's what we wanted it to do. That's why we put a negative 8 under a positive 8. And now we have negative 10x equals negative 30. Negative 22, getting 8 more negative is negative 30. Now the next move is to divide both sides by that negative 10. We want to get x by itself. So our answer is x equals a positive 3. It's a positive 3. It's 3 because 30 divided by 10 is 3, but it's a negative 30 divided by a negative 10. If the signs are the same on division, the answer is positive. For this one, there is more than one way to do this particular problem, but most people are going to do it using distributive property. So the first thing I want to do is draw my little fence. 42 is all by itself over there. Since it's already a number, we're going to simplify the right side and move all the numbers over there with the 42. By distributive property, I mean that negative 7 needs to be multiplied by each term inside the parentheses. Negative 7 times negative 10 is a positive 70. A negative 7 times a positive x is a negative 7x. And all of that still equals 42. We haven't touched that side at all. Now we are going to remove that 70 that's over there with the x term. We want that x term by itself. There's too many things over there, so we're going to subtract that 70 from both sides. You don't take it away from the 7x, you take it away from both sides of the equation, so you should see a negative 70 on either side of your fence. You do not want to see negative 70 done twice on the same side. All right, 42 minus 70, there it is, 28, <laughs> and the 70's cancelled out. So now we have negative 28 equals negative 7x. Now we're going to divide both sides by negative 7. Negative 7s are going to cancel. They're not canceling because it's a plus and a minus. They're canceling because we are dividing negative 7 by a negative 7. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. And since the 28 and the 7 are both negative, same signs, the answer is positive 4. 
All right, this one can be a little tricky. When you look at the left side, the entire x plus 7 is being divided by 2. We have to undo that divided by 2. You undo division with its opposite operation, which is multiplication. So we're going to start by multiplying by 2. But what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. It ends up canceling that out. You're, you're undoing the division with a multiplication. You're not going to touch the x plus 7. You're just going to copy that. And that's going to equal 4 on the other side because 2 times 2 is 4. Now we're going to subtract 7 from both sides of this equation. And our final answer is x equals negative 3. All right, we have another distributive property thing going on here on the right side with the negative 6 times the quantity 1 plus 7x. So I have negative 90 equals negative 6 times 1 is just negative 6. Negative 6 times 7x is a negative 42x. It's negative because the 6 is negative, but this is a plus sign here. Negative times a positive is a negative. Now we need to deal with that negative 6. Remember, you're moving numbers away from the x, putting all the numbers together on the same side. To get rid of a negative 6, you have to add a 6 to both sides. Negative 90 plus 6 is negative 84, and that equals the negative 42x, which just dropped down. We didn't do anything with it. We just, the 6 just canceled out. And now we're going to divide both sides by negative 42, which I have to say, I'm trying to do these without calculators. That kind of, I'm, I wondered about that for a second, but it turns out pretty easy because 42 goes into 84 twice. And since they're both negative, negative time divided by a negative, the answer will be positive. So our answer is 2x equals positive 2. Okay, this is a multi-step equation, which means you're going to make more than two steps. So it looks intimidating, so we're just kind of going to go through it, go one step at a time. What you're looking at there on the left side is just a number 15. We're not going to do anything with that yet. But on the right side, you have two distributive property situations. We have to distribute that 3 through the thing it's being multiplied by, and we are going to distribute that negative 4 times the quantity 8 plus 5x. Multiplying this all out, we're going to get a big long sequence of numbers. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times negative 8x is negative 24x. And the negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. The negative 4 times 5x is negative 20x. Now, the 15 is still fine. But on this other side here, we have to combine like terms. So there's a 3, and there is a negative 32. That is a positive 3. The minus sign goes with the 24, 24x after it. The sign in front of 3, you don't see one, so it's positive. When you put the 3 with the minus 32, we're going to get a negative 29. Think of it this way. You're standing on the positive 3, and you're going to take 32 steps backwards. Where would you land? You would land at negative 29. Now we need to do the same thing with the x terms. We have a negative 24x, and we are going to subtract 20x, which means you're on negative 24, and you're going to get 20 more negative. So you're going to end up with a negative 44x. So if we have 15 equals negative 29 minus 44x. Now, just like the regular two-step equations we were working before, you have too many things on one side there with where that x term is. We don't want everything over there. We're going to try to get rid of that 29 by adding it to both sides. And when we do that, 15 and 29 is 44. And that equals negative 44x. So you can see this is going to work out pretty nicely. We're going to divide both sides by negative 44 right now. A positive 44 divided by a negative 44 is a negative 1. So x equals negative 1. All right, this is a multi-step equation too, although it doesn't look quite so complicated. This is one where we call it a variable on both sides. There's more than one way to do this. In fact, there's four terms here, so you, there's four different ways to start this. The way I think it works best, so I don't run into complications later, is that I look at the x's and I start by, by getting rid of the smallest x term. I want to cancel the smallest x term. Well, in this problem, the smallest x term is the 2x. So I'm going to subtract that from both sides. 
simplify what I've got left. We have negative 10 plus positive 2x equals negative 4. The 2x is canceled out because I engineered it to do that, and the negative 4 just drops down because we didn't touch it. Now from here, look at the side that has too many things on it. That would be the left side. You see the negative 10 plus 2x? That has too many terms over there, and that 4 is over there by itself. I want to add that 10 to both sides. So we can cancel it over there, but we moved it to the other side. And now we have 10x equals 6, because negative 4 plus 10 is 6. We're going to divide by 2. Easy peasy. x equals 3. Okay, here's another one of those variable on both sides. The x by itself is the on the right side, left side, is, is the smallest x. This is 1x and the other one is 4x. So I'm going to start by subtracting that x away from both sides. Again, you can start differently. You'll still get the right answer if you don't make mistakes. Simplifying, the negative 6 drops down because we didn't touch it, and that equals 3x plus 3. Now look for the side that has too many things on it. The 3, the, just the number 3, not the 3x. The 3x can just sit still for a second. It's not its turn yet. But that plus 3, we're going to subtract from both sides. And we get negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. And that equals the 3x. And now it's the 3x's turn. We can divide both sides by 3. You have to be careful that you don't do that too soon. When you, want it, you don't want to divide until you're ready to divide. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. Now we're back to just a regular two-step equation. But this one can be a little intimidating because everything is negative. Start by looking at the side that has too many things on it. And that would be the negative 7 minus 5x. And on the other side, you just have a number, negative 97. So you want to start by getting that negative 7 off that side and over to the other. And we do that by adding it to both sides. Simplifying, we're going to end up with negative 5x equals negative 90. Negative 97 plus 7 is going to give you negative 90. Now we divide by negative 5, and x equals 18. And it's positive because 90 is negative and the 5 is negative. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Distributive property on one side. So negative 8 times 6 is positive 48. And the negative 8 times x is negative 8x. And then the 88 is just sitting over there. We haven't touched it yet. You look for the side that has too many things on it. And we should zoom in on that 48. You don't want to play with the x yet. You want the x by itself. And we have negative 8x equals 40. Now we're just going to divide by negative 8 x equals negative 5. Last one. Here we go. Remember that one we did a little bit ago where you had to multiply both sides by 2 to clear that division? Well, here we have a negative 2 just sitting there minding its own business. It's fine. x minus 10 is on the top, and it's all being divided by 8. That's division. To undo, you have to undo the division before you can do anything else, because that's the biggest thing happening there. So you have to multiply both sides by 8. That will cancel the 8s. And it's like pulling a chair out from underneath someone. And that numerator, x minus 10, is just going to fall straight down. Nothing is going to change there, except its butt might be a little sore. OK, so we have 8 times negative 2. That's negative 16. And that equals x minus 10. Look at that. Do you guys see? I did not multiply the x minus 10 times 8. It doesn't happen that way. The 8 on the outside, when you multiply, cancels the divide by 8. That's all it does. Now, look on the side that has too many things. And that would be the x minus 10 side. So we're going to fix that by adding 10 to both sides. And six, negative 16 plus 10 is negative 6. I hope this was really helpful and good luck on your test. I would love to hear how you did if you're not in my class. If you are in my class, I'm going to know how you did. Now, if you would like to check out some more videos in my algebra playlist, click into this video next. Bye.